Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Rocket Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for June 2020. Been feeling that the Rocket deck definitely needed an update since the last couple deck profiles, and actually has been a while since the last one. I think my last one was actually either uh, Chaos Impact, yeah, it definitely was Chaos Impact, not Ignition Assault. So I uh, haven't updated the deck since then, but like I said, wanted to. It's definitely a fun deck. It was one of my favorites during the Vrains anime used by Revolver, and all the different summoning methods methods that we had available to us exceeds fusion synchro and the main one being links definitely makes for a fun and versatile deck and i want to focus on as you know as pure of a rocket deck that we could do with just a little more added dragon support not focusing heavily on the guard dragon plays but going just for all the different uh boral load and boral sword and other you know rocket link monsters we have to make all the plays happen in the deck so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so for the monsters, I am running three Rocket Tracer, one of your main go-to uh, monsters in the deck. It is also a tuner and quick effect. You can target one face-up card you control, destroy it, and if you do special summon one Rocket Monster from your deck, except Rocket Tracer. And also, you cannot special summon monsters for their X deck for that's this turn, except for Dark Monsters. You can only use this effect of Rocket Tracer once per turn. That destruction power works very, very well with our Rocket Monsters. It will get the special summon at the end of the turn since they were destroyed by Rocket Tracer, also giving us the additional special summon of another rocket monster being able to then you know use that monster for the proper play which can either be an exceed summon overlaying the two or going for the synchro play or even going for a link play to extend some of our other plays in the deck for some of the other searchers, I'm also running three Magna Rocket Dragon. This one, uh, when a Link Monster effect is activated, that targets this face-up card in the field. Quick effect, you can destroy this card, then send one monster on the field to the graveyard. During the end phase, when it was destroyed and sent to the graveyard, uh, because it was destroyed on the field by Bower Car effect and sent there, uh, you can special summon one Rocket Monster from your deck, except for Magna Rocket Dragon, and all the Rocket Monsters, or at least a good amount of them, share this search power. So very, very useful in the fact that Magna Rocket Dragon gets around being, you know, destroyed by Car effect or at least limiting it so when it says this card cannot be destroyed by car effects this card just sends it to the graveyard so you have no worry there when sending it still targets so you have to remember uh that but still uh very useful for sure and that's why i like running three of it for the fact that when you boost it up with uh boot sector launch having the power boost makes for a good attacker just that much more difficult for your opponent to attack over it and like i said just having that effect helps to get rid of some pesky monsters on your opponent's field for some of the lower numbers in the Rocket Monsters, I'm also running two Silver Rocket Dragon. When a Link Monster's effect is activated that targets this card in the field, you can destroy this card, quick effect, then look at the uh, your opponent's extra deck and banish one card from it. During the end phase of this card's in the graveyard, having the same destruction effect as, uh, like I said, a good amount of the other ones, but being able to look at your opponent's extra deck and take one of their monsters is very, very good for sure. When a Link Monster targets it, which will be most of the Boral uh, monsters that we run in the extra deck, that just makes it so if your opponent's running any one-ofs in their extra deck, you can easily take care of that card using this card on the field. And I also run two Auto Rocket Dragon. This one basically has the same effect as Magna Rocket Dragon, except for the fact that it uses uh, this effect to send a spell or trap on the field. So it's not destroying it, it's sending it. So very important to remember as well. You can get around a lot of other protection effects as well uh, with that uh, send effect. And then the other special summon means you can get other resources out on the field, depending on whichever one you want. And always remember Rocket Tracer can always be searched out as well. And then using the quick effect, to target another face-up card destroying it and giving you additional special summons to get other different rocket monsters on the field also. And lastly, for the two ofs, I'm running two Metal Rocket Dragon. This one helps. It destroys for the columns when this card is in it. So just being able to know where to set this card up on the field is very, very important as well, but very useful at the same time when you're going for that search and setup. That's why I like to run two of it. If your opponent sets up a particular column, you can easily take care of all the cards in that column for sure. And for the one ofs for the Rocket Monsters, I'm running one Anist Rocket. This one is basically an effect veiler and prevents your opponent monsters from attacking it's also got 2200 defense so a pretty good wall also one shell rocket dragon working for uh very weirdly worded but you know adjacent ones same as the column as this one so being able to take out a pretty good amount of cards on the field using this one but still very situational you have to have those cards set up to be like that but still good to have that option available one rocket synchron i am running uh crystron halka fibrax in the extra deck so having this tuner to rely on to get this card out uh, 
another good option just to uh, sift through the deck for some other cards. And also the one Rocket Recharger, a good way just to get back more resources from the graveyard using this card as the uh, discard costs comes in handy, especially for that option. Just being another Rocket Monster for that search means that all these can be searched out with any of the other ones when destroyed by cards, but just a great way to rely on them, specifically when I need them also. And then for more support to help out with search power in the deck, I'm running three Abso Router Dragon. If you control a rocket monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Abso Router Dragon once per turn this way. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one rocket monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Abso Router Dragon once per turn. So whether you special summon it for, you know, bigger link plays, or you use it for the send effect, using it to send with Dragon Shrine or Foolish Burial, you name it, then you'll get the search for whatever rocket monster you need for the play, being able to most league time go for your Rocket Tracer, which helps for a bunch of them also. That's why I like to run three of this card. You definitely need it. It's, like I said, if you open it up, it's an easy special summon, because most of your deck are Rocket Monsters. Or if you just send it off of the other spells, which we'll get to when we go over the spells, it's an added plus there also. And for more of the dragon support that just helps with a lot of the different link plays, I'm running two, a gateway dragon. If your opponent controls a link monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon gateway dragon once per turn this way, and once per turn you can special summon one level four lower dark dragon monster from your hand. So even if your opponent doesn't have a link monster, you can still normal summon this card and then uh, special summon the level four lower dark dragon monster from your hand, which is a majority of the rocket monsters, and then just getting a rocket monster out means you can summon Abso Router as well. Other ones of it it is a once per turn but still a great option because if your opponent has the link monster it doesn't even take up your normal summon and for some of the one ofs for the dragon monsters i run one red eyes darkness metal dragon another easy monster to just get out and then use for the banish tempest being able to banish your dragon monsters in the graveyard to summon it out defrag dragon helps for just being able to uh basically go for the discard power to special summon this card and i also run one collapse serpent and one wyver buster just for the banish power off a of wyver buster being able to special summon it and then if you send it for a link play being able to search off and get the collapse server to then banish the wyver buster to summon out onto the field and that is it for the monsters. We run a pretty good monster count, being all dragons, just to work very, very well for the main play of the deck, which are to get out our Link 4 boss monsters. For the spells, I am running three Quick Launch. This is a great card. It's not even a once per turn. You special summon one rocket monster from your deck, but it cannot attack. Also destroyed during the end phase. So if you don't use it for resources and it's destroyed, you'll still get the uh, special summon effect of the rocket monster. So all the better there. It's a quick play. You can even set it on your opponent's turn and activate it during their opponent's turn. Uh, basically their turn and then they either have to destroy your rocket monster during the battle phase which then you'll get more special summons at the end of the turn or you know just avoid it and if you have like let's say a boral dragon on the field depending on which one you special summoned out if you target that card you can get rid of some pretty big resources your opponent may have also and I also run two Boot Sector Launch. I was debating on how many of this I wanted to run, but if my opponent destroys the one, I want to have another option to go into. Plus, this card is searchable with our uh, Striker Dragon in the extra deck. So just having this as a Link 1, needing one level 4 lower Dragon Monster to make it to search this out is a big help for sure. And for more special summons, I run three World Legacy Guard Dragon. I, like I said, I'm not focusing too, too big on the Guard Dragon monsters, but still, uh, this spell just as a great resource booster from the graveyard to get back cards to use. And being able to move our Link monsters just helps when I have to position them because we still have to use the extra monster zone for Link monsters. But being able to put them in other positions, especially with the different unique arrows for the Boral monsters, is all the better as well. And for some of the other one ofs in the deck, I'm running one Squib Draw. Draw power by destroying one of your rocket monsters is a definite need for sure. That draw too can work with our boot sector launch, being able to have more of uh, you know different monsters to special summon out. I run the one Dragon's Mirror. This is for our Boralode Furious Dragon that we run, just having the fusion option by being able to banish different ones from our field or graveyard. One pot of avarice for the recycle power of our different rocket monsters to keep on special summoning 
playing them. One Monster Reborn, more resources, especially I don't like to use it just for the one of dragons, but if let's say any of the Boro monsters are in the graveyard, two special summon them back on the field is a big plus for sure. Also the one Dragon Shrine and the one Foolish Burial, most of the time these are just for Abso Router Dragon, or if I just need that one additional Rocket monster in the graveyard to summon back with Boot Sector Launch, having the option for special summoning from the graveyard or my hand, depending on the uh, specific situation. But that is it for the main deck. Not running any traps so with this deck. Uh, when you go first, you can especially get some pretty big monster plays out on the field. So you don't want traps to uh, you know clutter up those plays, especially. For the link monsters, I run the one Boral Load Dragon, the one Boral Sword Dragon, and the one Boral Guard Dragon. All of your link four go-to monsters. One playing on defense attack and then just balance with uh, Boral Load. Having all the options to target monsters you have. Getting the additional destruction effects of your rock rocket monsters as well when you target them for the effects then being able to take care of your opponent's cards very very useful for sure and i just love attempting the extra link as well because their arrows work very very well depending on where you position them on the field as well to set up all the different plays especially having them in the main monster zone and then the arrows pointing up to go for the extra link also and for some of the additional monsters, I run the one Striker Dragon. This is just great for the search power, being able to add Boot Sector Launch uh, just when it's Link Summon, and then uh, being able to target a face-up monster you control and one Rocket Monster in your graveyard gives you Recycle Power, where Rocket Tracer summons them from the deck. You can use Striker Dragon to summon them from the graveyard to reuse, still getting the destroy of the monster on the field also. I run one Booster Dragon, one Mini Boral Dragon, and one Overburst Dragon just for some extra Link plays, especially for the resources and the destruction power these cards have on the field also. For some of the bigger Link monsters, I run the one Triple Burst Dragon. Very, very useful. It's a powerhouse Link 3 for sure. The one Quad Boral Dragon, another option just for special summoning resources back on the field to use also. For the only non-Dragon monsters I run the deck, I run the one Crystron Halka Fibrax and also the one Predaplant Vert Anaconda for the fusion options uh, when they become available. Especially, it's a big plus for sure uh, for both of these options, especially the Halka Fibrax for that option also, uh, depending on the fusion play you go for. And lastly, the one Saryuja, just for if you have a lot of resources but you just need a little better draw power to go into. This one is a big plus for sure there. And also for the additional extra deck monsters, I run the one Boral Load Savage Dragon, the one Boral Load X Charge Dragon, and the one Boral Load Furious Dragon. If you don't have the Savage Dragon, you can try putting in some other level 8 synchro monsters. It works the best with Tracer, just having the option for the level 8 with your Magna Rocket Dragon, especially if you don't have the Boral Load Savage Dragon, which I definitely do feel this card needs a reprint soon also. But until then... Uh, basically, like I said, you can use Scrap Dragon, any other kind of option, Stardust, uh, Scarlight, Red Dragon, Artifine, you name it, just as a synchro option to go into. And as for some of the plays, a big one, especially if you just open up the one Rocket Monster, you can, you know, summon out the Rocket Monster, Link Summon into it, and then go into your easiest uh, Link Monster to get out, which is your Striker Dragon, then being able to summon it using the effect to then search out the field spell, which you can activate. And then depending on what you have in your hand, and if your opponent has monsters, you won't be able to get the special summon from the graveyard as much, but if you have additional rocket monsters in your hand to use, being able to special summon that out onto the field, then being able to use Striker Dragon to destroy one of them, to special summon another one from the graveyard, gives you more and more plays to go for. And then if you have your Abso Router Dragon in your hand as well, you can go for that additional summon for that easy special summon, but most of the time, if you don't have that, you should at least maybe have the quick launch to go for as well, being able to summon one out from your deck onto the field, giving you the four monsters to then go into your, uh, you know, Boral monster of choice, whether it's Boral Guard for the defense, uh, Boral Sword for the offense, or Boral Load for more of the balanced play while also having Boot Sector launch on the field and giving you all the different rocket monsters in your graveyard if your opponent summons out more and more monsters, uh, you know, basically from there. And then having other monsters for the summon on the field also for resources to get out also.
But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. This is definitely one of my most favorite decks from Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. I love working on it. And I'll probably still continue to do updates for it. I believe we still have some support to get released for the TCG. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see when we get it. But like I said, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.